Alright, this isn't going to be too long, I don't think. Um, I'm going to make a quick video explaining the flamethrower and how you see pyros critting other pyros. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you might want to test this on your own by going to the console, which if you don't know how to do that, you go to options, keyboard, advanced, and then enable it. And then you'll type in map and then whatever map you want. Um, I prefer King. It's just my favorite map. Whatever. And then you'll type in SV Cheats 1. You probably can't see any of this because I make crappy videos. I don't have good stuff. So, so I'm going to explain the commands out loud. So SV underscore Cheats space 1. And then the other command you'll want to use is TF underscore debug underscore flamethrower 1. This will show you those blue boxes that are what the flamethrower does when you shoot them out. This particle that you see visibly, the actual flame, doesn't always match up. You can see a lot of the times the particles will go really weird. And if I hop into the third person for a second, you can see how if I walk backwards the particles just stop in midair and sometimes they'll even come backwards with me. Well, let me give myself infinite ammo so I don't have to worry about that. Um, it it has its own default like this that you see where it'll fly forward and go a little bit up at about here and if you move around it'll go farther or further back it'll take whatever movement you have and then apply that to its default movement with this you can actually throw flames around corners a little bit um, to demonstrate this better I'm gonna get a bot in here if I can let me go grab him I don't want to accidentally cap the point. Uh, I don't want a medic. And I don't really, I'm not smart enough to know how to change his classes, so I'll just bring more in until I get a pyro. Come on. You know you want to be a pyro. I don't want to end up kicking them. Oh, oh, I got two of them. Alright, let me set his name to Bob, and we're going to play with Bob. We're going to have lots of fun with Bob, and Bob's not going to have fun while we have fun with Bob. There he is. Okay, so, as you can see, he's out of my reach right now. Just with like a little throw forward, suddenly I can hit him. But, if I go at him and jump, you can see I miss. Or if I go side to side, only a couple of them are hitting him. That's why in reality, W plus M1 is the most effective way to use the flamethrower. Sorry about all these boxes, that's just what the flamethrower thing does. Silly Bob's not going to be able to respawn if I don't. Uh, entity teleport. Okay, I'm going to give him a bunch of health real quick. And that way he won't die when we're screwing with him. Because of this throwing, though, you can throw a flame and then hit him with a flare right when the flame's reaching him. That causes the crit. You can see the boxes as they approach him. Though you won't be able to do this in a real game, you'll have to learn it yourself where it goes. Um, because of this, you see in the video sketch check just did, he would do things like puff people into the air, and then... I haven't ever done this before, so you have to forgive me if I screw up. He throws the boxes and then crits people. Hold on. Uh, This is going to take me a minute to figure out, but... I'm an idiot. Yeah, I can't handle it. I haven't practiced it. Well, I'll practice it for a minute and then record it. Aha! So I managed to get one. Basically, the process is that you get them into the air. They can't... I was doing it wrong, but I think you can pull it off that way. Maybe you can, but I'm too scrubbish. But the idea is that once they're coming back down, you walk backwards to make slow moving particles that'll hold in place. And you basically catch them with it. And it takes so long for the particles to go away as you can see, that you could manage to get those particles to hit them and you hit them at the same time. So you can punch your own particles. That's kind of your goal, is to try to punch your own fire particles right in the same spot that they'll be in. Like that. 
I guess you can do it with them falling almost straight down. But with keeping that in mind, punching your own particles and just catching them in the middle of you doing that, it shouldn't be too hard to eventually pick it up. I mean, it'll be hard, but it won't be like the end of the world impossible. Like, flying while sticky jumping. These air goers. But I'm really bad at this, and that keeps happening. Bastard. Damn it. But yeah, just think of just think of it as comboing and catching them right in the middle of the combo. Whenever you're doing these things, I don't know if any games. I haven't really thought of, or I I don't know if I've ever played any games where you combo stuff like two different attacks in the same spot. I'm probably a deprived child, but. Boom! Oh, I didn't get the other one. I would have looked a lot cooler if I pulled that off. Anyways, that should be simple enough. I don't think I need to say anymore. I'm going to practice this because it's pretty cool. Thank you, Sketch Chick, or whatever your name is.